Okay, so first of all, I already primed my eyelids with an eyeshadow primer. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use a cream-colored eyeshadow for a base. I'm going to use my uh, Mary Kay White Sand. This is my love. It's completely matte, which is exactly what uh, Marilyn looks to be wearing in the picture. That is the um, default, or whatever you want to call it. So with this, you're just going to apply it uh, pretty liberally on the whole eyelid. So just pack it on there. So next, uh, what you're going to do is take a nice medium brown color. I'm going to use this from an NYX Trio in TS03. So I'm going to use the dark brown from that. And I'm going to take my brush, which needs to be clean, so hold on. Okay, so with my uh, MAC 219 brush, I'm going to pick up that dark brown. And we're just going to kind of get a little bit on the tip. And then tap it off, and then with this, you want to get this right in the crease, just a really um, small amount, a thin line of it. So just take it and blend it a lot. So just when you open your eyes, you want to see that a little bit of darkness there. So you can kind of bring it out um, and just bring it right up to the lash line on the outer part there. Just keep blending that all the way in. <sighs> okay, so just like that. And then you just want to repeat it on the other side. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, you just want to kind of brush your brows, make sure they're all nice, and then I'm going to take um, an angled eyeliner brush, and I'm going to pick up a MAC, or sorry, Milani Rich Chocolate. So it's a really deep matte brown color, and this is the part where you can use uh, liquid black liner, you can use powder, black eyeshadow for liner, um, it's just whatever you want to do. Um, at the end of this video, I'll show you pictures of my sister, where she has um, black eyeliner, and then she has red on the lips. So I'm just going to get my brush wet, and... You're going to get some of the brown color. Alright, and then what you want to do... is draw a nice line. And you want to make sure to wing it out. Just about like that. And you can make it thicker or thinner, whatever you want to do. Hers looks pretty thick. My favorite part. <laughs> Oops, did it belong right there? Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. Uh, so it's just nice and thick, but it's brown, so it's gonna be a little more natural looking than black. So I'll do that on the okay, other so side. Once you get a nice thick wing like that on both sides, um, what you can do is apply some false eyelashes. Whoops, not those. Um, my favorite for the retro look are Ardell, uh, just the regular ones in 125. So 
They're perfect. I use them on my sister, which I will also show at the end. I told you already that I'll show at the end, but she's wearing these lashes and they look awesome. So um, I'm going to go to church tonight. Don't really feel like putting on false lashes for that. Um, so I'll skip them, but I will apply just some black mascara. Um, focusing mainly on the top, you want to put just a little bit on the bottom, like right um, just, you know, close to the closest close to the eye <laughs> I can't think okay so I'll do that real fast and then show you the cheeks and lips okay so the eyes are finished now and for the cheeks I'm gonna use um, a kind of plum blush I'm using Milani temptation so with this we're gonna put it of course under the cheekbone that's about what they usually did in the 40s 50s all that so So it's kind of up to you if you're going to use a red blush, you can use something a little more neutral um, with more like brown undertones to it, you know, peach undertones, whatever. So. Okay, so now for lips, I'm going to use um, a pretty cool toned lip liner. I'm going to use Mary Kay in Dusty Rose, um, that's the color of it. And for the lipstick, I'm going to use uh, Clinique in Angel Red. So that's what it'll look like, and I will come right back. All right, so here's the finished lip. Um, you can go for something lighter, or obviously you can go for a bright red, which is probably something that she would have worn as well. Um, I don't know if the picture maybe is, like the color is off or something, but this is the colors that it looks like to me. So uh, hopefully you guys like this tutorial, and keep watching for more coming up soon, and thanks so much for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to add the signature mole. Um, it's right here on her face, and it's real small, right about here, so you can obviously look at pictures and figure it out. Um, I would recommend using maybe like Revlon Color Stay eyeliner for that, just so that it'll make, so you make sure it'll last uh, for a while. So um, my sister is wearing one, as you can probably tell. So yeah, you'll see those pictures right now, coming up next.